Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to MCTV broadcast of the city championship game, the Midland Chemex versus the Dow High Chargers here at Midland Community Stadium. If you look down in the field in the Dow High marching band playing their fight song as the home team tonight, this is the 44th city championship game between Midland and Dow. This is Dave Marsh bringing you the action along with Frank Aldemore. And coach, uh, over the years, this game was always highly anticipated, but this is one of the biggies tonight. Well, here we have two teams, Dave, that are at the top of the conference. Uh, both have lost Mount Pleasant by a touchdown. And even though those scores were a little askew, 50-42, 28-21, uh, they were still seven-point games. It could have been decided at any point. Midland was confident that they could have won the game. Dow was confident that they could have won the game. Uh, but they didn't. Mount Pleasant was is their only blemish on their record. But what the most interesting thing is that in almost every offensive and defensive statistic, Midland or Dow is number one in the Saginaw Valley. And that includes the Saginaw Valley South, which mm -hmm. uh, has only one winning team in it, and it's Flint Carmen Ainsworth. Now, I believe that the loser of this game will play Flint Carmen Ainsworth next week in, at Carmen, and the winner of this game is probably going to play Marquette. Now, that's just... Uh, Friday night speculation. Right. Uh, we'll know more Sunday night, but uh, it could be that way. Yeah, it's both teams seven and one coming in. It's actually this is the third time that has happened in this rivalry, where both teams were seven and one. Last time was in 2010, and that's when Dow High prevailed 24 to nothing over the Chemex. Uh, Midland High having won the uh, the last two years, um, and this year heading in. Um, the stadium is just brimming with excitement as uh, these two teams with tremendous offenses and solid defenses, and we can see a lot of fireworks here tonight. In the uh, both teams five and one, this, we're going to send it on down to the national anthem. Standing Dow High Marching Band. We apologize for uh, breaking down to that a little bit late. But great job again by the marching band. The city blessed with two uh, fantastic marching bands on uh, both sides of the city. And uh, we talked about these uh, tremendous offenses. Take a, um, a look at Dow. We were talking earlier, Coach. This is the the fourth time in school history that Dow has put uh, over 300 points on the board. Easily the best average, Dow averaging nearly 42 points a game. The next best went back to 1976, that Dow High State Championship team averaged about 34 points a game. So this is a high powered offense. It certainly is. They, and one of the things I'm, I'm looking at here is that I'm concerned about the wind tonight. The wind is blowing. It's a west wind, so it's blowing from the press box to our right. And uh, so that's going to be a factor as we go along. Let's move into the keys of the game before we get started. And uh, we hope to bring those up. And here we go first off with Midland. I think they've got to put pressure on their quarterback. they got to make him move his feet. He's a very elusive runner. But if you let him hold, let him stay still in the pocket, he will attack you. They must have uh, effective possessions, and uh, that means that every possession has to be a good one. We're, we're going to talk more about possessions as we go through the game. And I believe Midland, with their special teams, has got to come up with a special team play. I wouldn't be surprised if early in the game we see a uh, an onside kick. 
Uh, we may also see that little pop-up kick. For Dow, they must contain Midland's run game. Will Williams is absolutely devastating on the run. He is one of the most elusive runners in the state this year, and he keeps going. Second, they gotta keep their drives alive. You can't, you can't have a drive that dies off too early. And second, create a pass-run balance. If you only do one, either pass or run, Midland's defense is gonna get you. And we are about to kick off here. Philip Wandor doing the duties for Midland High as they will kick it off to the Chargers. And it will be taken right around the five yard line by Caleb Gandy. And a great special teams tackle by the Chemex. That is number uh, 36, Tanner Diment. And, uh, and so a big special teams play to force Dow deep into their own territory to start things off here. They'll take over on the 17, maybe the 18 yard line. See, that's one of the strengths of the of the Midland team. That kickoff that kickoff team is fantastic. You have to have a really good return set up to get them. Now high spreading out. Three receivers to the left, two to the right for the senior quarterback Brennan Miller. Miller having a phenomenal season, uh, senior season. Now back into the backfield goes Caleb Richard as the lone running back. Miller back to pass. It's complete, but there's a flag on the play. It's going to be a illegal procedure on Dow to start things off. See, those are mistakes you can't have. That was a quick, quick outlet pass, uh, and you just can't have uh, an illegal procedure on your first play. We'll bring up uh, first and 15 for the possession. Talk about Miller. Got to be one of the most improved players probably in the state of Michigan. He's uh, has started bits of his sophomore and junior year this year, has really blossomed and putting up Peyton Manning type numbers on the year. We'll, uh, we'll share those with you in a little bit here after this first and 15 play. Handoff goes to Travis McNally and he burst ahead for a nice pickup. Gets out to about the 20 yard line. It'll bring up a uh, second and eight situation. Well, Midland is playing three down linemen, eight men to the pass. The two outside linebackers are gonna be in and out of pass or run coverage. But for the most part, you're looking at a three eight, which is very hard to pass against. But as you can see right here, uh, a few yards on the run game. It's time Miller under center fakes the pitch. Tries to go to the right side, but he's swallowed up immediately by that Kemic defense. On the tackle was Azariah Porter, number 61, making that stop. Tanner Diment also in on the play. That was a very good play by Porter because if he doesn't make the play, Miller's going to be running for a first down. That was a very good heads up play by him. Bring up third and about five for the Chargers here on their opening possession. 10.45 to go here in the first quarter. Richard goes in motion left. Miller back to pass, fires, it's incomplete off the hands of the intended receiver and Dow on the first possession will be forced to punt. So a big defensive stand, Start uh, really keyed by that initial penalty for the that Chargers. That penalty was everything, that, that made it first and 15 then they made a good defensive play on uh, on Miller's run and, and uh, an incomplete pass, which wasn't enough for a first down anyway. When you get third down and you're down in this area, you got to run stick routes. You got to get the first down and you got to throw to get a first down and keep that drive alive. So this is a lost possession for Dow. Junior Max Kidd is the punter for the Chargers. Another flag on the play. I think Dow jumped again. So let's send it back five more yards. And that is indeed the call. So still fourth down, it just uh, improves the field position a bit for the Chemex. Now this is the thing that I would be very concerned about, and that is catching Max Kidd's punt into the wind. Because this is, a, even though he's way back standing near his goal line, this is a very difficult situation for Williams and a very precarious situation. Dangerous Willie Williams is set to receive the punt. Kid's punt is a low one. Not a very good punt. Takes a charger bounce, but then comes back to the Chemex, and Midland is going to have great Terrific. field position on their first possession. 
They'll take over first and 10 on the 39 yard line of Dow. Midland High on offense is uh, led by senior quarterback Tanner Gross having a terrific season. Also in that starting lineup for the Chemex, wide out Luke DeLong, he's just a sophomore. Uh, tight end Austin Ear, number 11, he's a big target, the favorite target of Gross in fact. Alex Welter, number 83, the fullback. Number one, Jakari Cooper, also a sophomore, is at flanker. And Williams is the running back. Back to pass goes Gross. He's going deep on the first place, looking for ear, and it is broken up. Great defensive play by the Chargers. That was Mason Hayes on the coverage, the junior. And uh, put it up for that grabs. Was really a good play, and I, I'm pretty sure that Ear was uh, playing defensive back because Mason Hayes had his hands on the ball, and I think Ear got in there. Yes, Ear did get in, get in, and make it a, a play. That's a good play by Mason Hayes. Yeah, absolutely. Kenwick's going for the home run on first down, but that'll bring up second and ten. Ear split out wide to the right. Williams on the carry, he's got a hole. Drives ahead to pick up about four yards. It'll bring up a third and long, third and about six for the Chemex. What, what Dow has to be able to control is the right side of the Midland offense. Stern is tackle over there, he does a great job. You can't have, we, you can't have a situation where you let them have that right side. You gotta just take it away and say, you gotta run left. So third and six. Center 10 minutes to go in the first quarter. Gross back to pass, looks downfield, fires, it's high, and broken up by Caleb Gandy, intended for the sophomore Luke DeLong. That'll bring up fourth down. I wouldn't be surprised if they go for well, it Well, I'm sure they're gonna go for it. Here's, here's the deal though, you don't see any pressure at all on Gross. I mean, Dow's gotta bring a little bit of heat to make Gross move his feet. Oh, they're going to be a punt. We're going so, to see a punt. Midland will punt. They Midland's obviously play for field position. Yeah, playing for field position. There's a, a lot of merit in that for two. I for, for I'd sure. watch for a fake. As you can see, Dow has nobody back. And that is Ryan Millars is the punter. And he boots it towards the corner. Takes a good comic bounce. And that's going to roll inside the five and going to be down right at the one yard line. Wow, you can't do any better than that. Ryan Millars just got the roll and the coverage was down there for Midland. Spotted right, right just this side of the goal line. So Dow High will have 99 and a half yards to go for Pater. Well, I saw the Mount Pleasant game against Midland and in the second possession, or even the first possession, Will Williams ran 97 yards and it wasn't a touchdown. <laughs> so he, he was down in the one, they ran down to the, I think the two to three yard line on a, on a pass play. Anything can happen. I, I, you're gonna see the wide open football here. So we've uh, talked about these explosive offenses, but so far we've just seen two punts, one by each team. Miller back to pass, he's got some time, finds his man, he's got the reception. And uh, Mike Robb, the sophomore, will move the chains for Dow High. Big play on first down for the It was really Chargers. a good pattern by Robb. He got into the open seam, settled down, and, and made a gr very, very good pattern and good run. And again, Miller set his feet. You got, can't let him set his feet. Neither of these quarterback can you allow their feet to be set. Caleb Richard with the handoff, not, nothing doing that time. Ball's on the 15, it'll stay on the 15. Caleb Richard having a terrific junior season. He has 675 yards rushing, averaging over six yards a carry, 11 touchdowns on the ground. He's just as dangerous as a receiver, also having over 600 yards receiving as well for Dow High. Four receivers bunched out to the left for the Chargers. Miller scrambling, still on his feet, buying time, but no, he is sacked. A big sack for the Chemex. Colin Coltson hauls him down inside the 10. Miller didn't see the open receivers. Yeah, when we get a chance, we'll see that. But he did not see there was an open receiver sitting right on the sideline for him to throw the ball to. Here comes the replay, and you'll be able to see it here. As you can see right here down in the corner, 
wide open. Uh, Miller wow. just couldn't get him the ball. I mean, again, this is pressure. Make him move his feet. And that's what happens when you do that. The key here is pressure. Third, Coverage is not going to get it. Third and 17. Again, five wideouts for the Chargers. Miller fires, finds Caleb Richard. Breaks a tackle, still on his feet. And he's going to get the first down. A great catch and run by Caleb Richard. That was a touchdown saving touch tackle right there. It's a great play by Richard. He runs a little out pattern. And right here, he, he avoids the tackle. Great block right there by Rob. And of course, to get the first down. Andy Russell knocking him out of bounds. Andy Russell made a real play there because that's a touchdown. Remember what I told you, field position means nothing in this. It, it, it means nothing. Possessions are everything. This possession started inside the one and two quick first downs for the Chargers and they do have some breathing room. It's quick offense here, no huddle. Quick inside pitch will go to Richard and that will come out to the 30. So he's gonna pick up about five on the first down play, second and five. Brennan Miller, we talked about these tremendous numbers. He's averaged a uh, completion percentage of over 68%, 1,699 yards. He's now over 1,700 yards passing, 20 touchdowns, only three interceptions. Incredible season for the senior, Brennan Miller. Second and five for the Chargers. Miller back to pass. Surveys the field, fires, throws behind Rob. And that'll bring up a third and five situation for Dow High. That's a tough throw. One thing you try to tell a quarterback is when you're throwing the ball over the middle, a little bit of touch rather than a lot of zip because the guy's running usually away from you. So try to try to guide it in there a little better. And that was just, uh, just a little bit off. So Miller's targets, uh, number three, Travis McNally, he's a senior, number eight, Justin Cook, just a sophomore. Mason Hayes, number 25, and Mike Robb, the tall sophomore, are his wideouts. Miller's gonna keep it. He drives ahead, finds a hole, first down, almost uh, to midfield. Good acceleration by Miller, showing some great quickness there. See, to me, that's the play. Don't mess around. Look, look at the, the, the spread of the, of the, of the Midland defense. Great and blocking. there's only three guys down there. So you run right at them. Don't run laterally. They'll run you down laterally. And Just great. run right at them. That's the secret to, to Dow's attack. And great job blocking by the Dow offensive line. Quick handoff to Richard. And he darts ahead for about five yards. So a nice five yard pickup on first down. Bring up second and five. That offensive line for Dow High includes number 52, Nate Thurston, he's a junior. Senior Chase McNamara, he's number 55. Number 59, Wes Meyer, he's a senior. Number 70, Austin Wilford, a junior. And then big number 77, Brandon Veal, also a junior, checks in at 5'11", 270. So this time they're showing a more of a bunched look Inside, pitch, fake reverse by Richard, and he's going to fight his way for a few yards, maybe two. See where they spot it. Now they're going to give him, um, going to be no gain really, actually, so it'll bring up a third and five for Dow High, just inside Midland High territory. Six minutes to go here in the first quarter. We are deadlocked. Each team punting on their first possession, Dow High has uh, had their backs against the wall at the one, but they've marched all the way into Kemet territory at this point. Two receivers out to the right and the left. Miller's gonna keep it. Looking for room, no! Big defensive play. Alexander. Michael Alexander, the Kemet's top tackler, shot the gap and before Miller could find any room to run, he was down. Michael Alexander's a tremendous football player. You can see he was spying Miller the whole way. The blocker just couldn't get out there in time. Shot through, and Dow will be forced to punt. No gain on the play. Fourth and five. And so uh, McKid will punt for the second time here tonight. Back to Willie Williams. One thing Dow did do with all that exchange is they will shift the field a little bit here. Now it's a fake. Kid throws downfield. And 
Should be there. The receiver wasn't really looking for the pass. Probably could have been offensive interference there. It would have been offensive uh, interference, absolutely. But uh, but Dow rolling the dice, trying to take the Chemex by surprise, but instead Midland will take over at midfield. Somebody missed up. Yes. Somebody missed the signal. They weren't ready. Missed for the call. Weren't ready for what, for what was fake. going on. That's a crucial play because that now gives Midland the possession that they want. They want the ball just like the first time. They have the ball in great, great place and able to do something with it. So Tanner Gross, the Midland quarterback, he's a 62% passer on the year. Hands off to Williams, though. Williams spins around. He took an initial hit but spun up for about a seven-yard gain on first down. Again, take a look at what happened. Williams starts left and he breaks back right. Everything for the Midland offense goes right. And uh, I think Dow's going to be able to handle that as it goes along. Williams is an elusive runner, though. He has great cutback ability. Right side of that line, right tackle, number 54, Zach Stern, and right guard, 68, Matt Schnurr. All right, this is definitely going right. Power backfield. Goes right to Williams. Good job by that uh, defensive line. It's going to be just shy of the first down. Midland showing that power look. Every time Midland lines up in that full house look, either Alexander is going to run it off right guard or Williams is going to run it off right tackle. I mean, those are the only two plays they've run off of that. So the center for Midland, number 55, Austin Rapanos, having a terrific year. The left side of that line, 52, Nate Fisher, and the left tackle is number 56, Jacob Dostel. Again, that power look, and oh it's going to be goodness. a first he down. Ran left. That's <laughs> the first left. time all year I've seen him run left. Jor Good for them. Jordan Wilson follows the blockers, protecting the football, just driving ahead through that line. And it'll be a first down to the 31. Here's a look at it. Well, good for them. They ran left. The left side of that line blowing up a hole and a good job lead blocking by Alexander. And it's first down Chemex. And so the wide open Chemex attack right now just uh, showing the power. Quick handoff. This is to Alexander. Drives ahead for about five. So a bit of a surprise here, Coach. Well, this I'm... I'm not, I am surprised, but I also know this, that spread teams don't like to play teams that want to power you because they don't practice that enough. They don't practice the, the, the close contact hitting. They're used, more used to the wide open, spread out. We're going to try to catch in space. But as you can see, it's very effective so far for Midland. Handoff to Wilson driving ahead. It's going to be a little shy of the first down. It's a late flag on the play. We'll have to see what that is, if it, possibly a face mask. We'll see what the indication is. It's a big call here. It's either face mask or holding. Yep, it's one of those two. Neither team kind of letting on to what the call may be. Yeah, they're going against, it's against it's against now they're Dow, walking. so it's a face mask. Yep. Personal foul, face mask. That'll give Midland that first down. A big chunk of yardage as well. Ball being paced off all the way down to the 11-yard line. So this Dow defense will be tested. That defensive front, Austin Acker, Ryan Shannon, Matt Molesky on the defensive front for the Chargers. And those linebacking core of Brendan Miller, Caleb Richard, Jacob Loria is number 54, 55 Chase McNamara. And then in the secondary, Caleb Gandy, Travis McNally, Skylar Contardi, and Mason Hayes. Again, that power look. Williams takes it this time, still on his feet, drives ahead, good power run by Williams. Gets inside the five. So Midland knocking on the door here. Trying to capitalize on Dow's inability to convert on the fake punt. Ball down to the four yard line. Two minutes to go here in the first quarter. A packed Midland Community Stadium. It's a brisk fall night. But uh, a lot of action in this game, this highly anticipated city championship game. 
Here we go, second down. Williams again, drives ahead, follows the left side of that line. Defensive front holds for Dow. It's gonna be very close to a first. I'll tell you, Dow is, is struggling right now in stopping his power offense. It is gonna be third. Third and very short. It seems short enough to measure, and they are going to measure. The officials will call, bring out the chains here, and we'll take a look. Big measurement here. It's either going to be first and goal from about the one or two yard line, or it's going to be third in inches. We'll take a look as they stretch out the chains. And it is a first down Chemex. First and goal for the Chemex at the one yard line. That has been tough to stop inside the 10 in this power offense, and I don't think Dow's gonna be able to do it. This is gonna be decided on that. And remember I told you you can't lose a possession? Well, right here, they, that fake punt is gonna be a lost possession. Right. So we'll see here. That Charger defense uh, has had a terrific season, one of the best in the league. Getting that power look. Wilson and Alexander in front of Williams. Williams gets the handoff, darts into the end zone. Touchdown, Chemex. So with 106 to go in the first quarter, Midland High strikes first. Take a look at the replay here. Short drive, great power. I'll tell you, you gotta love Alexander. He's in there just cleaning house. The offensive line doing the job and just yeah, follows those two horses job. through. Beautiful and job. It's a numbers game once you get in there, and uh, he just had to find a crease to follow, and Williams does for the touchdown. And that will bring on Philip Wandor for the extra point. It's up, and Wandor's kick is good. Wandor having a great year. It's his 37th extra point on the season. He does have six field goals as well. You can see the Midland flag runner celebrating the first score of the game. Midland on top, seven to nothing. Well, that was a short drive, 49 yards, well executed, surprisingly. You know, old time football. Old time football. Just get right in here. We're going to line up foot to foot and then drive, drive you out. And Dow was unable to stop. Williams finishes it off with his 17th rushing touchdown of the year. Williams with over 1,000 yards on the year, over five yards per carry. The key factor in this Chemic offense. And uh, so we'll see how Dow High responds now. Dow has not trailed very much this season as they have racked up 335 points on the year. The thing about Dow is they're not afraid. No. You know, they they feel they can score. If you score, that's okay. They just got to come up with some stops, and this time they were unable to come up. First time, yes, they came up with a stop. Surprisingly, that Midland was going to punt. And then surprisingly, Dow decides not to punt, and it cost them a touchdown. Wander will kick off, sails it deep to Gandy, who takes it at the one. Gandy tries to take it around the right side, and a great special teams play. That's Alexander tripping him up. And Dow will take over at about the 13 yard line. So, once again, not very good field position for the well, Chargers. They, they have started a long on field. The 17, the one, and the 13. So they've been unable to get out of this hole and they've been unable to cross midfield. And that's special teams on Midland's part. Great Absolutely. coverage on the kick and downing the punt at the one yard line. Exactly. So the edge right now goes to that Midland High special teams unit. Miller, handoff goes to Richard. Tries to find a hole, it's not there. Chemic defense, those white jerseys swarming. Again. Remember what I said, you cannot run laterally against Midland. They've got eight guys standing up. So you can block the three guys all you want. It's the other eight guys that come swarming after the ball. Jared Lachance on the tackle leading the way. But there was a lot of white there waiting for Richard. No gain on the play. So probably be the last play 
or it could be the last play of the quarter. We're down to 30 seconds. Miller back to pass. He's under pressure, trying to find a receiver. Finally unloads, finds his man, it's caught. Good job by Miller to buy time, and then also a good job by the sophomore, Rob, to kind of settle in, make himself open, and Dowhai will pick up yardage on the play. And the timeout Midland here on third and four, I think they're trying to maintain the wind exactly. uh, advantage here. It's a beautiful here. timeout right there. Well done. Make them force throw, into throw the, the ball into the wind. You know they're going to throw it. So it's third and four situation that uh, Midland High defense on the defensive front. Ben Luzar, 53, 12, Colin Coltson, Tanner Diment, number 36, and Ezra Porter, number 61. That's on the defensive line. And uh, we also mentioned Jared Lachance. Uh, we'll see a lot of action as well. Linebacker unit, 46, Matt McInerney. The middle linebacker, number 21, Michael Alexander. You're going to hear his name a lot tonight. Number 10, Jordan Wilson, also at linebacker in the in the secondary. Number three, sophomore Luke DeLong. Number two, Andy Russell. All right, they're the safeties in the corners. Number nine, Brad Belson. And number eight, Cody Snyder. That secondary is going to be tested tonight. Well, that was excellent clock management by the Midland sideline. Now it's up to them to kind of put a stop on it at this point. But as we're going to see in this first quarter, let the let play run. Miller, he's going to keep it. Not much run. Oh, and the defense swarmed. It was really a good play by number 12, Colton. Made him cut back in. And then he was swarmed under. And uh, it will be fourth and five. And that will be punting again. That's a, a very good word to use, swarm. And that's exactly what Midland's defense has done in this first quarter. We're not used to seeing this low amount of points in the first quarter. We usually used to seeing two or three touchdowns by either team. But here's the key thing. Midland in the first quarter imposed their will on Dow. They forced them out of what they wanted to do. They're stopping them from running laterally. Uh, they're putting pressure on Miller. As good an elusive runner that Miller is, you got to remember there are seven and eight guys dropped off into these little underneath zones that Miller likes to throw to. And now he's got to run for his life against a team that's pretty fast. So, uh, you know, the Midland defense is standing tall right now. And so Max Kidd will be called upon again to punt. He punted the first time, tried to fake punt second. Uh, I don't think we'll see a fake at this juncture as uh, Will Williams is back on his own 45 to receive. Kidd will be punting with the wind at his back. Snap is up, and Kidd's kick is high, and it will bounce, just die right there. No bounce either way. Settle down right at the 48, so Midland will take over in Charger territory once again. Terrific game of field position. I really didn't believe it would be a factor in this game, but it's been a factor in this first quarter. Midland is playing with a very short field. And even if they're not successful, they're going to be able to drive Midland. Midland's going to be able to drive Dow back again. So that last possession, it was just a sheer power attack. May have taken Dow a little bit by surprise as uh, both teams yeah, this season have shown a wide open offense. The other thing it does, Coach, is chews up clock, keeps that Dow offense off the field. So we'll see if Midland employs the same strategy and it looks like they will with uh, Wilson and Alexander in the backfield along with Williams and this time it is it is Wilson with a big gain down the left edge powers ahead all the way down to the 15 great run by Jordan Wilson Wilson broke a tackle right at the line of scrimmage and there was nobody there Number 10. You'll see it right here. He breaks the first tackle. And there it is right there. Here it comes. He breaks that tackle with a good stiff arm. 
There's no safety, and there's a lot of white shirts going downfield, and it was a very good coverage play to make the tackle, touchdown saving tackle. The other surprise is Williams has done almost all the ball carrying for Midland this year. This time he got it, and that, that is Caleb Richards sticking him at the line of scrimmage. Well, you got to figure that Caleb Richards is keying on Williams. Now, the question is, who's keying on Wilson? Well, Wilson. And on Wilson's doing some yeoman damage. And again, here it is. This is that point about we're talking about that one team imposes their will on the other. Right now, Midland is imposing this power offense on the Dow defense, and really, uh, last week, uh, uh, Bay City John Glenn did the same thing and did run the ball efficiently for the first half. So all three of those backs have carried the ball. This time Gross back to pass. He's under heavy pressure. He's going to take off. He's got yardage close to the first down, very close to the first down. We'll see where the marker is, but a good job by Gross, his initial receiver on Dow's not defense open. on this perimeter is not very good right now. See how they're allowing the inside to go? And Gross puts his head down, drives ahead, and they're taking a look at his first down, Chemex. So middle will have first and goal from the five-yard line. Tanner Gross with the big play after uh, he was under heavy duress. Brenda Dreyer and Dev Phillips. Gross Thank you. with 257 yards rushing, five touchdowns on the season. So he can move as well. There's that power formation. Unbalanced. Williams. And going to get inside the five, maybe get a yard, maybe two. Pretty clever lineman. Midland was unbalanced at that time. They had four linemen to the right and two to the left of the center and ran to the right. Dow did a great job of jamming it up. Second and goal for Midland, knocking on the door. Ten minutes to go in the second quarter. And Midland uh, has won the field position battle so far. They've gotten the ball near midfield each time where Dow each time has had a long way to go. Millen trying to capitalize for the second time. Pitch to Williams, and a good surge by Dow. He, he kind of fumbled the snap, and that threw off the timing of the play. Absolutely. And Dow converged on Williams. Midland has run a number of the old Midland pitches. They've run it from a, a different varieties, sometimes out of a uh, the shotgun, sometimes this one was out of uh, one back behind the quarterback, and just the timing's just not there. Okay. Skyler Contardi in on that tackle to bring up third and goal just inside the five yard line. This time Midland's showing a spread offense. Gross by himself in the backfield. Now Williams comes, fakes the handoff. Gross trips up, dives ahead, touchdown, touchdown Chemex. Great play call. They spread it out, brought Williams in motion, faked the handoff, and Gross on the bootleg darts into the right side of the end zone. Good call. Very good call. He faked it. The Dow line and went for the see fake. That right there, the number 52 is out in front doing a great job of blocking. That's Nate Fisher. Kind of cleaned it up for Gross to get in the end zone. And so Wandor will attempt the extra point for Midland High. Snap is up, kick is good. And the Kamiks go on top, 14 to nothing, with 8.56 to go here in the second quarter. Well, Dave, I believe this game is all about possessions. And at this point right now, Dallas had three possessions and have really done nothing in those three possessions. Midland's had three possessions and has scored on two out of the three. You get between nine and 11 possessions a game. So in my mind, if you were able to score on five possessions, that should win you the ball game, and Midland is uh, 
is 40% of, of the way there. And it kind of tells you where it's at and have really dominated the ball game. You can see that Kemick student section fired up after seeing their team take this early 14-0 lead. Now trying to get that offense clicking. See, this possession right here is very crucial. Again, 14 points is manageable. 21 points now, you can struggle. So you have to be able to do something in your possessions, and they can't be uh, they can't be lateral runs right now. They got to be up the field runs. Dow is just not exploiting Midland's defense. Wonder 14 will kick off again for Midland. Watch for the pop up. Pop up. It is the pop up. It's going to land. Fielded at the 15. It's Gandy. Strives ahead to the 23. Caleb Gandy doing a good job catching that on the run and making some yardage out of that. If that hits the ground, anything can happen. See, the old Wandor is, is, is really a good kick. I'd kick off deep because that's a, Wandor has struggled with that. He kicks it too good. You actually got to kick it poorly, right. but high, almost like an extra point. More, more, about, gets, to the, more gets, about to the 30. Yeah, right somewhere then. in there, high and make it tough on it. Here, it's not so tough. Catch it and run, and you can see Dow has good field position at this point. For Dow, it's the first time <laughs> outside the 23. Miller will keep it. Good job. Fouling a blocker and moving ahead for about four. Yeah, this is their best field position, their best starting field position of the evening. Bring up second and six for the Chargers. Miller has a lot of targets to choose from. Mentioned Mike Robb has 33 catches, six touchdowns. Travis McNally, number three, 27 catches on the year and seven touchdowns. Caleb Richard averaging 29 yards per catch and eight scores. So a lot of weapons out there. Miller in trouble. Fumble, the ball's on the ground, picked up by Midland. And Brad Belson recovers it, and Chemex again will have great field position. The play just did not develop for Dow. Miller under heavy pressure, tried to pitch it, but it was too late. And Midland breaks it up, and Belson recovers. This is a tough play for Midland to run against Dow, or for Dow to run against Midland because Midland's got the lateral positioning. The ball is fumbled. They make trouble, and actually, that could have been a touchdown right there. Number nine picks it up, and it was a, again a saving touchdown. Ball inside the 20 yard line for, and each of these possessions for Midland has been inside down territory. This time at the 19. First turnover of the game. Midland will try to convert. Welter goes in motion to the right. Pitch right. Williams. Oh, great defensive play. You see, again. Caleb Richard. Again, Midland has trouble running that play. They, they, there's not a timing factor that's involved when you have the shotgun as opposed to under center. And it's, it's been a problem for them all year. See, the, there are two plays I'd get rid of if I was the coach. One would be Dow's option, and the other would be the pitch. Well, it, I think you're right. They, it appears that, Rich, that Richard is spying Williams here. Right, because right. As no, soon as he gets back it there. on the pitch, Richard is just all Absolutely. over. Absolutely. Second and 13, Williams Here's where you're in motion. Make. He gets the handoff. He's got a hole off the left side. Gets down to about the 16-yard line before he's thrown down. That's uh, Skylar Contardi on the tackle for Dow. See, I think Dow's losing a little bit of their composure. I I don't like, you know, their body language right now. And I think they got to just settle down and play football. It's going to be a long football game. They still have a number of possessions involved here. they got to slow the whole thing down take a breath and get going. It's a big play here, especially for the Dow High defense. Third and seven for Midland. Gross rolls to his right, looks downfield. He's got his man, his Welter. He's gonna be short of the first down, however. Alex Welter, the senior, hauls it in. It's gonna be fourth down at the 13. 
Midland needs to get inside the 10 to get a first down. It's third and a long three. Coach Eric Metner trying to decide what to do here. And I have a feeling he's going to be calling timeout to talk this one over. I think he's uh, trying to take some time off the clock. And uh, he does, in fact, call timeout with 5.56 to go here in the half. Again, good clock management. Run the clock down. Don't let Dow have the football. Keep it away from them. Now, the question is, do you kick the field goal or, you know, or do you go for it and take the points off the board? One thing on the field goal, it will be kicking into the wind. We do know that Wandor has the leg for it. Um, he's a tremendous kicker. He has six field goals on the season already. Um, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that powerhouse formation and a play run out of it. But uh, we shall see what uh, Coach Metner has up his sleeve. Eric Metner is, uh, has led Midland to another fantastic season. It's his sixth year at the helm and uh, sixth year that they will make the playoffs under Metner. And they will go for the field goal. It will be Philip Wandor. That's Ryan Lynch is the holder number 15. We'll call it a 31 yard attempt here for Wandor. This, Trying to is make good, it this is a good call. This is a good call. Get the points on the board. The snap is good, hold is good, the kick is up, and it is good. Wandor into the win from 31 yards, and the Kamek strike again. They convert that fumble into three points, and Midland High takes a 17 to nothing lead. Good decision. Keep the points. When you have a kicker, use him. Use that weapon if you can. 17 nothing. And here it is. We are in the uh, well. When you talk about five minutes to go in the second quarter, when you talk about possessions. The field goal means that's another possession that exactly. Dow needs to score on. Midland now has scored on three of four possessions. Dow is zero possessions. As I said, the body language of the Dow players is not good right now. Well, Dow offense, which uh, averages 457 yards per game. Almost 42 points a game has really been shut down by that Kemet defense so far in the first half. Again, I like to say this, Dow has not seen a defense like Midland. And, you know, they've not seen a linebacker like Alexander and the pressure that comes from up front. Midland is the number one scoring defense in the league, at, uh, allowing less than 18 points a game. And they are the number one total defense, allowing just 251 points uh, yards per game. Another kick for Wander. This one's a line drive that Gandy will take at the two. And Gandy will get out to about the 17. Once again, the Kemet kicking game is a factor. Absolutely. Good kickoff, great coverage, and Dow will start again inside the middle and high 20 yard line. Seems like they have been there all night long. Well, Dow has not had any opportunities. They were able to move down uh, and, and finish one drive, but it wasn't enough. They ended up having to uh, do the fake punt that got them really into trouble. That, that was really a blown shot for them. 5.45 to go in the first half. Miller looking to make something happen under heavy pressure, trying to get rid of it, but finally goes down. That'll be a sack by Colin Coltson. He'll get credit for it, but that was kind of a team sack. There was great coverage and immediate pressure on Miller. Midland's only bringing three guys, and Dow's unable to block those three guys. You mentioned that was going to be a key, is getting pressure on the quarterback. Pressure, make him, you know, even though Miller is elusive, you have to put pressure on and make him move his feet and then let your, your perimeter guys come up and help out. Second and 12 for the Chargers. Miller back to pass, fires, finds Mike Robb. And uh, he's hauled down by Wilson. 
A good positive play for Dow, but it still will be third and long, third and about seven. We're under five minutes to go in the half. Dow, you sense, really needs to move the chains here. You do not want to give Midland that ball back, still with plenty of time here in the second quarter. Caleb Richard is the running back. Watch out for Richard out of the backfield. Miller back to pass. Looking downfield, he can't find anybody yet. Fires, overthrown, intercepted. And that is picked off by Andy Russell. Miller under heavy pressure, tried to find Rob, overthrew him. And Russell with the turnover, and Midland will take over again inside the Dow 40-yard line. Four minutes, 13 seconds to go in the half. What? These mistakes are just absolutely killing. There's plenty of time right now. And here comes Miller coming out of it. And there's the pressure throwing off balance, off falling off balance and attempting to make a play. And you just don't make plays like that. There aren't any plays to make running to your right and throwing off balance. As a result, uh, Midland gets the ball at the Dow 39 yard line. Yep, actually overthrew McNally and Russell was waiting there and uh, Midland will try to convert on the second Dow turnover. Gross back to pass. Looks downfield, he's going deep and it is broken up. Ball's incomplete. Skyler Contardi on the coverage, had a shot at the interception. Terrific coverage by Contardi. Yeah, absolutely. Because Ears got that ball in his hands and all day for Gross to throw. This ball is right on the money and a terrific play by Contari. So Contari. Midland is going for the throat. <laughs> they are looking for blood right now and I don't blame them. This is their opportunity to really put this. If they score here, they can pretty well put this game away. At 24 points uh, at a half is a lot of points. A lot of points indeed. Second and 10. Dow high defense. Looking to stiffen here. Backs against the wall right now. And Midland High will use their third and final timeout. I just I don't think he uh, liked the alignment. Was the not alignment. Right for him, right? The and, alignment uh, was not right. So he uses that timeout. He knows this is a big time of the game, like you said. Uh, they can convert this is, here. This is the drive right here. This is the drive. Dow coach Jason Watkins is uh, calling upon his defense to rise to the occasion here. Give them a chance. It's Watkins, it's his fourth or his fifth season. He's done a tremendous job at the helm of this Charger team. He's guided them into the, uh, the playoffs. Uh, his first season and uh, back to the playoffs again this year. And uh, as you mentioned, seven and one, five and one in the league, facing a team, Midland team with the same identical record. So here we go. Williams takes the handoff off the right side. He's gonna get about five on the play. Good shoestring tackle by Alec, Dow. Alec Marty came in, made a great play on him. Number four, Alec Marty. He's also the backup quarterback. And a uh, terrific athlete is Marty. So here we go, big play in the game, third and five. Ball at the 34 yard line. Williams is flanked out here to the left, one on one. Somebody better give him some help. Gross. Oh, nice Back tight to end screen. Got a big block here with the first down and more all the way down mm. inside the 20. There'll be a clip. Gonna come back. Well designed play by the Chemex. And uh, didn't even need the clip. He'd already gotten the first down yardage. Right. The block was behind him. You know, the interesting thing there is that they lost here. The defense lost here on that play. You can never lose here. You, you got to stay with him the whole time. Here, big target. The clock in the back, and so 
That will still be third down. It's a spot foul. So it's the spot from the beyond the first down mark yardage. So it'll bring up a third and seven for Midland. I'll have to try it again here. It was third and five. They converted with the penalty. Brings it back. That was a big break for Dow right there. 318 remaining in the second quarter. Dow defense looking to rise to the occasion. Seeing the defensive signals as Midland comes to the line. Williams is the setback. Gross back to pass, has time, fires, intercepted! Uh, touchdown. He cut the route, that's Contardi, and he is down inside oh, the 15 yard play. line. What Tan a play to save a touchdown. It was Tanner Gross. Tanner Gross saved the touchdown. Contardi jumped the route, great defensive play. He sure did, a little bit behind him. Tardy picks it off, and great hustle by Gross to stick with it. Saved a touchdown, but not only does it stop Midland from scoring, Dow knocking on the door, so a gigantic play in this ball game. To turn the fortunes. It's that first that block in the back was crucial there. First and 10 from the 11, Miller. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. And a false start by the Chargers. Dow has not had these illegal procedure penalties all year long. Their timing has been near perfect. Just a little over anxious here with the, the change of momentum on that one play. You're right, middle of the first down. Penalty brought it back. Big interception by Contardi. And now Midland High on top, 17-0, 2.45 to go in the half. So Midland on the verge of making it a four possession game instead. Dow can convert here. We had a ball game, folks. Two men in the backfield. It's to Richard, cuts ahead, drives ahead back to about the original line of scrimmage. Brought down by McInerney for by, of the Chemex. Bring up second and 10 from the 11. Two it's a little, what's called a wraparound draw. Second time they tried that tonight. Right. 2.15 to go in the half. Miller, the quarterback, Richard, just to his right. In motion, now he swings back the other way. Oh, oh great defensive play. defensive play by the outside line. Ben Luzar. That was a terrific play by Luzar. Travis McNally came in motion and then turned back around to the outside. Caught the pass, but Luzar was all over it. He did not bite. And they're actually gonna lose a couple yards on the play. We're under two minutes to go. Third and long for Dow High. See, Dow has not attacked. They are, they're being too fancy. They got to attack this defense. This defense only has three guys down on the ground, eight guys standing. Throw the ball up the field, right there. This time fires, throw the got ball his man. up the field. That's Rob, and he's hauled down by Wilson. This is a very aggressive Midland defense, and you got to take advantage of that aggressiveness. So fourth down, and Dow will try to get on the board here with a minute and a half to go. They want to get points out of this possession. It's fourth and long. They will call on Max Kidd to kick the extra point. Alec Marty will, will be the holder. He's number four. It will be a 25-yard attempt for Kidd. We know he's got the leg. And uh, Kidd has two field goals on the year thus far. He will be kicking from right in the middle of the field. Kick is up. 
And it is no good, wide left. And so Dow comes up empty after the big interception, 48 seconds to go. Well, consider this, Dow gets the ball on 12 yard line and he runs three plays and now it's down to the eight yard line. So you get four yards and three plays, not very good. I did not like Kid's body language right there as he went to kick it. He was fooling around too much with his pads and not concentrating on getting the ball. I mean, good kickers, they're out there ready to kick the ball. He was not ready to kick. Same thing happened on his one punt that uh, was not a very good punt. And so Midland kicks over on their own 20. We're in the final minute of the half. Midland on top, 17 to nothing. Williams takes the handoff. He's still on his feet. Down the right sideline, finally Contardi runs him out of bounds at the 50 yard line with 40 seconds to go. Big gain by Williams, showing that speed. And now maybe Midland thinks about getting into field goal range here themselves. So split out to the left, looped along. First and 10, right at midfield. Williams in the backfield. Williams takes the handoff. He's got room around this time around the left side, still on his feet, there's a flag on the play, drives ahead, he's got the first. There may be a face mask here. It looked like Williams uh, got jerked around on the corner there. We'll see if that's a face mask, that's a huge penalty. But it may be on, it's also where it could be a hold. It is a hold. Big break for Dow. Big break for Dow. So a repeat first down, but instead of Midland being all the way down to the 35, that spot foul will march it back to the 44 yard line. 32 seconds remaining in the half. That is a big penalty. Dow dodges a bullet. In one That's a 20-yard penalty. Yeah. Big and the clock will penalty. run. And which Metner may be content just to let this run out here. D does have to run a play. Two receivers up to the right, one to the left. Fakes the handoff. Gross has it. He's got a hole, drives ahead, and he's going to be short of the first down. Four and arm tackles. Time will expire. Four arm tackles on that play by Dow. Things could not have gone much better for Midland High in the first half as they head to the locker room on top, 17 to nothing. Converting on the Dow turnover. And uh, Coach Watkins will head into the locker room trying to make some adjustments and get the ship righted here for the Chargers. And uh, we're gonna, before we head it down with the band, take a look at this, this message. Want to get in the game? Join MCTV as an excess TV producer and produce programs like baseball, basketball, football, and, and more. more. Call MCTV at 837-3474 to get started. Get in the game and let's produce a program. Oh. 
ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Mr. William Monroe, Mrs. Kathy Peretz, and Mrs. Karen Walser, with percussion specialist Judith Peterson, it's the Midland High School Chemic Marching Band. Band, take the field. Halftime shows this year have been all about colors. Tonight with drum majors drum Noah Danielson, Danielson, Tanisha Frick, James Miller, and Nick Shaheen. The Kemic Marching Band will play music from the Disney movie Pocahontas. Jay Hendricks is our trumpet soloist as the band performs Colors of the Wind. Band, are you ready? The Midland High School Fight Song!
The Charger Marching Band will perform an energetic routine to the drumline version of Paula Abdul's biggest hit, Cold Hearted. And now we welcome the Chemic Marching Band back to the field. The combined bands will have an amazing 385 musicians who have worked hard to prepare an arrangement of I Knew You Were Trouble by Taylor Swift.
next, we had the combined Midland High and Dow High Pon Pon Squads for Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Ladies and gentlemen, as they leave the field, let's have another big round of applause for the combined Midland Public Schools High School Bands and Pom Poms. attention to the west end zone as the booster bash committee and both school principals will be drawing lucky winning raffle tickets. This raffle is a fundraising component for the 2014 booster bash. This year's bash will be on Friday, March 21st, 2014 at Dow Diamond. The booster bash is an athletic fundraising effort that is put together in a cooperative effort between Midland High School and Dow High School sports boosters organizations. This annual event has been created to bring the entire community of Midland together and support our student athlete athletes. This year's Booster Bash will include food, drink, live music, dancing, silent auction, raffles, and many more activities. Please mark your calendars for March 21st, 2014 and join the community of Midland in celebrating our student athletes and everything they can accomplish. Phenomenal job, one of the highlights. For sure the halftime highlight of the football season, so great job to both bands and pom-pom squads. This is Dave Marsh along with Frank Aldemore as we uh, get ready for the second half of action in the, uh, the Midland High versus Dow High game. We're gonna take a look at some of the first half highlights here as uh, for the half that just concluded. 
It was an early run early by, run by Williams. Williams. Showing that the speed and elusiveness. And uh, Caleb Richard running down the sideline. That's one of the few runs that Dow had that were uh, efficient. Got, a, got one of the big first downs. Yep. Moved this change after they started that drive deep in their own territory. We'll come back, we'll come back to the other highlights in a little bit. You know, Dave, one of the things that uh, I got some stats, and uh, most interesting of all is that Dow has 71 total yards Whoa. in the half, and Dow has been, that, that's a bad quarter for Dow, right, right. let alone a half score. Midland has 157 yards, and again, that's not a very big, but but they've they've had short yards, I mean, short field to, to do it with. Uh, Midland has rushed for 146 yards and thrown for 11, and Dow has run for 20 yards and thrown for 51. So, so that Midland High defense standing strong. We'll take another shot at the highlights here from the first half. And here we go. This was Miller. This is a pass, pass right here to uh, Richard. play to Richard for that first down. See, see, Dow has not gotten the ball in either Richard or McNally's hand enough. Uh, Miller, with Miller a quick had feet. a good quick run on that dive play, and there was a touchdown there for uh, was that Wilson? William, Williams. Williams. This is Wilson's run right here. Very powerful run. Power and showing good speed. Huge play for the Chemex. Good play by Gross. He's flushed out of the pocket. Dow loses contain, and they're able to hold it off. Picked up and first. this, again, is a great run, but great blocking out in front by the Midland lineman. This is the option that went wrong. This is, uh, you know, the fumble. The fumble and the fake punt were two crucial plays for Midland's defense. And this is a forever opportunity, and there's a thrown off balance, and here comes the third turnover and that is that intercepted pass by Miller. Uh, uh, that really hurt him. And here comes Kantari with an intercepted pass, and I thought he was gonna make it in the end zone, but Tanner Gross really made a play to save a touchdown and save the shutout. Save the shutout, yep. And again, this is a, a, an excellent run here by Williams. It's a holding penalty, but still a uh, very elusive run. The uh... The Midland defense rising strong, but you also got to give some kudos to that offensive line for Midland High, which has given Gross time to throw and also just uh, blown up in some big holes to get that running game going. Well, that, as I say, they've rushed for 146 yards, and of those 146, Williams only has 61. So Gross has a number, uh, and Wilson has a number. Alexander has a few himself. Spreading it out a little bit. Richard has only run for 10 yards. And so, you know, there's their number one player. And again, I go back to this, that Dow has uh, not given the ball to McNally, who's their best receiver, uh, has not gotten the ball much to Richard, uh, running wise, or to, the one pass was a, was a beautiful first down opportunity. So it's, it's a matter of distribution of the uh, assets, and right now Midland's doing a much better job of it than Dow. What adjustments do you, uh, you think Dow needs to make here in the second half to get this thing turned around? Well, the first thing they got to do is not allow the quarterback to be able to get around them a little bit. they got to be able to put some pressure and keep him inside. And the second thing is they got they got to make commitment to throw the ball. I mean, they've thrown the ball all year. They're not a running football team. And they've got to make a commitment that we're going to get the ball down the field against eight drop defenders. I mean, I've heard of nickel defenses, dime defenses, and 80. This is <laughs> an 80 defense. An 80 I, piece? <laughs> eight dropped. I don't know. You got So, therefore... You say, well, I gotta be able to run the football, but Dow hasn't run the football very much at you. They've run the football away from you laterally. They're a lateral football team rather than a come at you football team, and that's a, been a crucial situation for them. But like I say here, you've got a thousand yard rusher in Williams, and you got a really good runner in Richards that uh, has, has a significant amount of yards, and you gotta be able to get them, those guys to football and and really take advantage of what you got. 
Well, as we get ready here for the second half, also Port uh, Midland High was also victorious in the JV game last night, 46-22. Andre Warren, a freshman running back, had a phenomenal game, three, over 300 yards rushing and five touchdowns for the freshman. And Coach, that young man can move, I can tell you that. He's a pretty good player. He's the, a good player. The Midland freshman beat the Dow freshman 42-0. Yeah, 42-6, uh, I think it six. was, but still. And uh, and so Midland trying to uh, get the clean sweep here tonight, but uh, I'm sure Dow has other ideas here. This is not a team that will, uh, will go away at all. This team's had a lot of success, as we all know, can put points on the board. And uh, I think you'll see Coach Jason Watkins making some adjustments here along with his staff including Keith Schulte, Phil Ligev, and John Streeter. And uh, they will be kicking off here. Midland will get the ball. So it'll be uh, contingent upon that Dow defense to stop Midland, try to get the ball in decent field position. They have not had good field position with the exception of after that interception. And uh, trying to get that field position change and really give their offense a, a chance to get on the board and... Uh, and cut into the 17-0 Midland High lead. As we also say in that freshman game, I uh, also mentioned out for, for Dow High, sophomore quarterback Josh Reitman had a big game for the Chargers, throwing for a couple of touchdowns. So Kid with the kickoff, it's deep, and Williams will field it. It'll go into Dead the end ball. zone. In the end zone. I think now, even if he caught it, his foot would have been Dave, in the Dave, I too. truly believe that this game was going to be decided by possessions, and I felt that the team that got five possession touchdowns or scores was going to win. Midland has three in their, in their first five possessions. Dow has zero in their six possessions. So it was uh, it's this second half, I'm afraid Dow, to be in the ball game, is going to have to score on every possession and stop Midland at least twice. So that's um, going to be a, it's going to be a big half. You know, you know, you don't think 17-0 is a big hill to climb until you look up at the mountain, you know, and then you say, <laughs> okay, that's a big hill to climb. Well, here we go. Dow High playing up close to the front. Handoff goes to Williams, and he is uh, held up right at the line. That is McNally on the stop. Good defensive play by yes, Travis McNally. That's the first time I've seen Dow have more than two defenders at the ball. Uh, they first half they just were not here to play defense. Just a one yard game, gain for Williams, second and nine, as we are just underway here in the second half of this city championship game here at Midland Community Stadium. Again, it's a, a brisk night, a packed house in the uh, 44th city championship game. Gross, the quarterback, hands it off to Williams. He's got a hole this time, he's up the middle, and he's rallied, rung down finally by Mason Hayes. Boy, if Hayes doesn't make that tackle, Williams is still running, but still a huge gain. First down for middle and out to the 46. So that was just up the gut, uh, getting a hole at the initial point of attack and Williams exploding through it. Williams very nearly broke that. Very nearly broke. Great play by Hayes to come over and make the play. So Midland first in 10 here as they uh, look to drive down the field and there's a penalty on the play. Again, Big penalty. Pers that's a personal foul, 15 Kelly yards. Wow. And e. Weber. So attack on 15 to that 25-yard uh, gain for Williams. And Midland, just like that, is in Dow territory. First and 10. Williams again, up the middle. Again, a big hole, and again, a big gain. Big play, big blast play. The lead play, uh, Alexander's running the lead on that uh, blocking scheme, and Williams is running right behind him, and th that is a, that's a tough combination right there. We mentioned that Midland High offensive line 
Austin Rapanis, the center. That left side, Nate Fisher at guard, Matt Schnur, or excuse me, Jacob Dosta, left tackle, Schnur and Stern on the right side. That line having a big game. Welter in motion left. This time Gross keeps it, tries to get around the edge, swarmed under by uh, Sia Green. Good job by the Charger defense that time. Brandon Miller was able to make a play that uh, he was the only play or only player there for Gross to beat, and Miller did a good job. Miller made him cut back upfield, and Molesky, number 72, got a piece of him. And uh, but still, it's going to be a first down, just barely by the nose of the ball. They didn't need much, obviously, but the chains move, and Midland has first and 10 at the 30. So here we go. Williams in the backfield. DeLong split out to the right. Cooper to the left. Williams again Same up the middle. Same last play up the middle. Three yard gain this time. And then basically saying, we're gonna run this till you stop it. Well, you know, like I say, Gross threw only for 11 yards in the first half. And Midland has found that they, you know, 157 to 71 total yardage. So they ran at 150 to, to, uh, to 20. If you have lost your keys, well, pretty well expected. As I said, they're simply imposing their will on Dow's defense. Williams again finds a hole up the middle. Another big gain. Miller finally brings him down. But again, a big hole up the middle. Williams is quick, he's got speed, he finds the hole and just charges ahead until finally being brought down. But another first down, Midland on the 12 yard line. Another good lead block by the Chemex. 8.30 remaining, so uh, Midland Chewing up clock as well as chewing up yardage here on this opening drive of the half. Gross fumbles, but he's still able to dart ahead. The hole was still there as he bobbled the snap and is still able to pick up a good six yards on first down. Boy, you know, when things go right, they just continue to go right. You fumble the ball and you're still able to make enough yardage for a first down. Jacob Loria on the tackle for Dow High. 77, Brandon Veal in the lineup on the defensive line for Dow at this time. Williams again, drives ahead. It's gonna be close to a first down. I think it'll be a little bit short. It'll bring up third and a yard, but the ball is now at the four. Seven and a half. So Midland ta already taking off four and a half minutes off the third Midland quarter. Midland has just slowed the game down to a, you know, almost as long as the... When we talk about wide open offenses, this is just old style chemic offense now. Found the ball. Williams driving ahead. He bursts, he's got the first down. It's gonna be first and goal inside the two for Midland High. Dow's offensive, or defensive line is just being blown back by the Midland offensive line. And you see Williams senses it too, and he is running downhill. Yes, he's, he's running hard. He's lowering his shoulder. He's known as a speedy back, but uh, he's showing some power here too. Miller will check out of the Dow defensive lineup. It's going to be right pretty now. hard to stop Midland here with first down. Williams he's in is the in the end zone. Touchdown, Chemex, following that right side of the line. Matt Schnur, Zach Stern blow open the hole, and the Chemex extend their lead. That was an 80-yard drive with no passes. 
No passes. Eighty so yard drive. About old ran style the foot, football. Ran the football. Took off almost six or five minutes off the clock. Coach Josiak is is loving this. So it's uh, Wandor for the extra point. It's up, and it is good. And with 6.45 remaining in the third quarter, Midland on top, 24 to nothing. Okay, that's, and that's Midland's fourth possession that they've scored. And I, I really thought if a team scored in five possessions, they could win this game. So Dow has really got to pick it up now in this series. This is the crucial, the first series of each half is critical to the victory in the game. See Midland again. came right down there, great drive. Midland really just took it to Dow in that series. Well, about your possession theory, I don't know all that. I do know one thing, that if you don't have any scores on any possessions, you're probably you're not, not going to win. win. <laughs> no. <laughs> that much no, I'm that, pretty sure that of. One, uh, you got that right. You got to get some, some scores to win. And so this is where the Dow offense, uh, we'll see if they make those adjustments is uh, can come it's to life here and change that. a lot that. of football here. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> and so Wander will kick it off. This is one of those short kicks that Gandy will field at the 12. And oh, again, terrific, tremendous just terrific Alexander. Cover. Alexander wow. all over it as well as Luke White. Luke White with a big special teams play. That combo doing a great job and Dow starts at the 16 yard line. The, <laughs> well, I guess you could say Midlands had controlled this game, but the Kemic special teams have been phenomenal. One of uh, Dow's best defensive players, Caleb Gandy, is a little shaken up. He got tackled on that. That was a very strong tackle. Yeah. White and Alexander. That was a little hard. bit of a bunch. That's to Richard. And uh, tries to run off the left side. Alexander again in See, on the stop. The is, key is Midland has three down linemen. But it doesn't matter about this three down linemen. you got to block Alexander. you just got to get people up on Alexander or else you got a long night in front of you. And Luzar also in on the stop. No gain for Richard. And you can just kind of sense Midland's foaming at the mouth right they now. They are, yeah, they're, they're a dog after a bone right now. Miller back to pass. Fires broken up. Great defensive play for the Chemics by Andy Russell. Had an interception earlier. He tried to hit McNally. Good strong pass, but a tremendous defensive play by Russell. Third and ten. Take another this is look really at good it. Good play by Russell. He's in a he's in the zone back here, sitting here. Here comes the, the breakout. And you'll see he's gonna come right up and make the play. Third and ten. For Dow High. And uh, it looks like uh, Wilson may be shaken up for Midland. He's going to come out of the game. And uh, taking his place is Matt Nastasi, number 22. Three receivers Downs to the right. Empty. Pump fake for Miller. He's got time. Now he's being flushed out. Fires, and he's got his man, Caleb Richard. Hauls it in. Still on his feet. Oh, big play for Dow. Third and ten. Dow desperately needed to move the ball. Richard yes, kept did. it alive. Richard found a crease down the middle, and Miller fired a bullet. Up in the air went Richard and hauled it down. First down, Dow at the See, 34. The, the most important thing for Dow to recognize right now is they've got to get the, hands in the ball in the hands of guys who can do some damage. That is McNally and Richard. Five and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Midland on top, 24-0. Dow trying to make some noise here. 
And this time Alexander comes out yeah, of the lineup. Equipment problem. I think uh, I think that was Wilson's problem as well on the previous play. Wilson's back in, but Alexander is out. See if Dow can capitalize on Alexander's absence here. Miller back to pass, goes down the middle of the field. He's got his man caught on his feet. And Mason Hayes will go the distance. Touchdown, Chargers. 66 yards on the strike. Miller on the post pattern finds Hayes. Went up for it, caught it, broke a tackle and took it in for the touchdown. Just what the doctor ordered for Dow. And Dow here will probably go for two because uh, really it's three possession game if they three touchdowns and three two point conversions. So uh, we'll take a look again. Just ran a post route. It was pretty good coverage, just good pass, and then Hayes just wanted the ball. Yes, Midland. That will go Dow for two is going to go for two here. Good call by Watkins. It's a pitch. Oh, it's going to be a throwback pass. Broken up. Luzar broke up the pass. They tried to go back to Miller. Little razzle dazzle, but Luzar stayed home. Good discipline on defense and knocked it down. And so it is now 24 to six. Dow High cuts into that chemic lead. That's the big play Dow has been living with all year long where they just can strike quickly. They had two big passes in a row to march down the field and, and strike. 5.15 to go in the third quarter. You can see the Charger flag runner. This Dow High crowd, uh, something to cheer for here. Their team has life. That was really an excellent play by Luzar because He's an outside linebacker, and the flow went away from him, and he was able to take care of business and protect his, his area. Great play, knocking it down. I think Dow would have been better off just rolling out and throwing the ball in the end zone and saving that maybe for the third time they had to have something. Yep, so. Uh, but that's why I'm sitting up here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> easy to say. I, easy to say in hindsight. If Luzar doesn't make the big yeah, play. It's a big play. It's a different story. So Kidd with the deep kickoff. Williams takes it at the one. Looking for a crease, knocked down. Good special teams play by the Chargers. And so Dow High, or excuse me, Midland will take over on the 21. So Midland on the previous possession had a good long drive this time. Dow with momentum now on their side. See if the defense can rise right. to the occasion. Each team scored on their first possession, so it's possession for possession. But Dow defense is going to have to hold here, obviously. Yeah, Five. you can't swap possessions. Not at this you point. can't swap scores and possessions because Midland's three up on you. 5-10 to go in the third quarter. Tanner Gross, the Midland quarterback. Hands off to Williams, the right side. He's got a hole. Uh-oh. He's on the, off to the races. Williams, it's a foot race. Can he get there? And he does. Oh, my goodness. Just like that. Dow has scored. And on the first play, 79-yard run for Will Williams. Again, that right side blowing up in the hole. And he just took off. That is shot out of a really... Cannon. Terrific running right there. I mean, he, just, he found the open seam, got in the seam, and now he just outruns the defense. Beautiful job. Just beautiful. Mm. He's having quite a night. He is. Especially the second half. He's uh, well, he really six, taking control. Yeah, he had 61 yards going into the half, and now he's he made that all up in 79 one play. right there. Right there, yeah, perfect. Wondor's extra point. Is up and good again. 31 to six, Midland High. 4.57 to go in the third. And so that's just devastating for Dow High. They had just shown life, gotten on the board. Quick strike offense. And then just like that, 
One play, 79 yards, and Midland strikes pay dirt. Can't say enough about this offensive line for Midland. They're just uh, winning, winning the battle. They're, they're winning the, the battle in the trenches. They are absolutely winning the battle in the trenches, and they're running backs. They found all the holes. There's the Midland High Pom Pom Squad and cheerleaders leading the charge of the for the student section over there on the far side. Midland, the visitor this year. A huge crowd here at Midland Community Stadium in this highly anticipated matchup. As you mentioned, both teams seven and one coming in. That's a that's a bone crusher for Dow. They finally get their touchdown. They're back in the game, and on the very first play, Williams runs for a touchdown to return it. That just will break your heart. Let's see what how Dow can respond now. Again, that high short kick. Oh, it's it's fumbled at the 15 and swarmed under again the Midland special teams. Robert Ellibrack down the reception that time. Normally that's Gandy, but uh, Gandy had been shaken up previously. So Ellibrack uh, bobbles that and then he's swarmed under. And so a common theme tonight, Dow takes over at the 17. Most of their drives tonight have started inside the 20 yard line. Well, they've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drives that they've started in their own, inside their own 25. They only had one drive and that was the interception. Yeah. Miller back to pass, looks downfield. He's got a man, it's caught. Big play again for the Chargers. Mike Robb, the big sophomore, goes up and gets it. And so a big first down, another third big pass play in a row for Dow, down out to the 45. Miller surveying the field, throws on the run, throws a dart. Great throw by Miller. First and 10. Handoff goes to Hayes. Tries to find the corner, but that's not going to happen. That play's not going to work. You got Alexander They got eight guys standing there. up and everybody running with the ball carrier. They're just not going to let that happen. It's a lateral play. You got to run north and south, not east and west. Zariah Porter, number 61, holding his ground out there. Got a piece of him, and then Alexander able to clean it up. So loss of one, second and 11 for Dow. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Ben has done a good job of substituting their down linemen, keeping them fresh. There's a whole new group in there. 20, Jared Lachance in there right now. The nose guard position. Miller's gonna keep it, fumbles the ball, it's loose, and Midland recovers. Oh, man. Mm. LaChance hits him, ball pops loose, and the Chemics recover the fumble. Turnovers, blown opportunities, those are crucial in a game like this, and we have seen it tonight where Midland has been near flawless except for their one interception and Dow has now turned it over four times. Midland will take over at the Dow 47 yard line. 345 to go in the third. Williams just to the left. It's something out of nothing. Yeah, he made a great cut. Williams has that little bit of a jump cut move that really gives defenders a, a tough shot at him. You, don't get a, you never really get a clean shot on Williams. You know, you always get a little bit of a, he goes down, I mean, he, you know, he's gonna go down, but he's gonna go down four yards down the field. Kyle Super, number 79, checks in for Dow on the defensive line. McNally made the tackle on that last play. It was a five yard gain, second and five. 
the snap again. Williams going to be a little bit short of the first down, just working that right side of that line again. See, you look at Williams, you say, okay, that wasn't a very good play. And then you see that he made five yards on it. I mean, that's, I, I've seen that all year. I'm saying, wow, that's, you know, he got up in there, he got bumped, he dragged, bumped around, got pushed. Next thing you know, it's second and five. You know, and you're going, wow, that's fantastic. Third and one, Dow desperately needs to stop. A power backfield with uh, Alexander and Wilson in front of Williams, and Williams will drive ahead for about five more. There you go. First down, Chemex. He gets in the pile, stays in the pile, stays on his feet, and drives hard. So that uh, good blocking continues and hard running. Alex Welter, he uh, listed as a fullback, lines up also as kind of a flanker, tight end. He's uh, doing a great job out there blocking as well. We used to call that position Ted. Ted? Yeah, it's a tight end tackle. Tight end tackle, Ted. Yeah, yeah Ted. It sounds nice to call it a tight end. Yeah. Williams runs left this time. Not this time. Good surge by the defense. McNally and Richard. Caleb in Richards on the came in and made a good tackle. Give him a yard on that. Ball is on the 32. They're in four down territory, so and now they're into that power T. And they're off sides. Yep. Middle of the jump yeah. on that one. So that'll march him back uh, to turn that into a second and 14. Not very many penalties tonight. There were some big penalties in the first half, but uh, the second half, Midland had really cleaned things up until that penalty right there. Minute. 18 remaining in the third quarter. Midland on top, 31 to six. Trying to win their third straight city title. You know, Dave, this is the fastest game we've had all year. Usually a quarter and nine, we're in the first quarter. <laughs> That's right. So, Gross is keeping it on, or on the end. He's got room. Still on his feet, he's gonna get the first down. Finally, Richard knocks him out of bounds. That was the same play as the as the uh, touchdown play that he ran earlier, where he fakes and both guard and tackle come around and lead the play. Nate Fisher, number 52, that left guard came around and did a great job uh, Beautiful paving counter. the way. Beautiful counter. That's tough to defend. Yes, it is. pounds it, pounds it, pounds it. Fake hand of bootleg to the right, and uh, you're just not expecting it. First down, Midland. We're in the final minute of the third quarter. Ball is on the 22-yard line. Midland on the march, trying to convert on a Dow turnover. This time it is Wilson, and he will pick up about three on the play. Midland's certainly going to be content just to run the ball and chew up clock. Midland has not thrown very not many thrown passes the ball this half. Have they thrown half it at all? No. No passes. And if you take a look at the flag, the wind is blowing. They're, they're uh, going into the wind, so they're not going to run a play. They're going to no. let it run out. Yep. Again, excellent clock management. If Dow doesn't have the football, they can't score. I mean, that's just, There's, and Midland's just keeping the ball away, playing and keep away. I'm not sure what the, oh, it's a false start on Midland is what it is. See, they were lined up, really. I mentioned they had been clean their second false start of this drive. 
the second and 12 and the clock will run out on the third quarter. And so as the third quarter ends, Midland on top, 31 to six. You're watching this Midland High Dow High football game on MCTV 97 on Charter Communications. You can also find this game on Channel 99 through AT&T's UVerse. The game will be cablecast on the following dates and times: Friday, October 25th at 11:30; Saturday, October 26th; and Sunday, October 27th at 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. As you can see on your screen. After this weekend, the game will be shown on MPS TV 98. Check the Midland, uh, the Sunday Midland Daily News and the Midland Public Schools website, as you can see on your screen right there. For more dates and times, this game will also be shown on the school's YouTube channel. Coverage of this game was made possible in part with donations from Essex Essexville Electric and the Foxcroft Friends of MCTV. Also, uh, join the MCTV team. There's an orientation studio workshop um, coming up on November 4th. And uh, all of the, the MCTV productions are uh, produced by MCT volunteers and staff. And this is your opportunity to work on shows like this or, or other ones. Come to the, to the studio training sessions as they're being shown on your screen. It costs just $45, which includes the annual access user fee. This game will also be shown and we are about to get underway here in the fourth quarter. Midland on top, 31 to six. Midland with the ball, second and 12. Back to pass goes Gross. He's looking for Ear down into the end zone. Up, touchdown! Austin Ear hauls it in. Just mentioned they had not passed this half in this time. The play action pass. The big target, Ear, and Gross throws a beautiful ball over the Dow defenders. Ear goes up and gets it, comes down for the score. Great pass. That was a great reception in the end zone. He went up, got the ball. He's a tall, he's six foot three, and went up over the smaller Dow defensive backs and caught the ball. Midland uh, taking the Chargers by surprise there. A steady dose of power running. That time, put it in the air, into the end zone for the score. Wandor extra point is up and good. There's a flag on the play. On the it play. is a false start, and the Chemics are going to have to do it again. And so... Uh, The uh, Wander will try it again. The, the distance is not a problem for him. We saw that earlier on his field goal. It'll just be five yards farther. That was the first play of the fourth quarter. Extra point up. And Wander Still drills good. it. He's been perfect tonight. 38 to six. And as a, Midland has had the ball three times in this half and has scored all three times. Dow has had uh, the one opportunity of the first series and got their touchdown. Let's look at this play action pass to Williams. And uh, some technical difficulty there. Oh, saw the tail end. Play action pass and Gross uh, spun ear, the only receiver in the pattern. And he threw it where only ear could get it. Here it comes we'll try again. To get here. Good fake. Ear's running down. The safety's got fooled. And it's just out of the reach of everybody but ear. It's a, it was a great pass. And a, Great reception. Here with his, or excuse me, uh, Gross's 10th touchdown pass of the season. And Ear, that's his fourth touchdown. Ear, 39 catches coming in 
a uh, big part of this Kemick offense, 605 yards receiving and uh, putting his mark on this game here. Wonder kicks it deep this time. Ellibracht at the four yard line, goes up the left side and he is hit hard again. Again, Luke White and Alexander on the special teams coverage all over the kick coverage for Dow. Luke White doing a great job there. He's usually the first guy down there to meet the, the returner. And then number 21 is lurking as well. Dow with the ball at their own 24 yard line. Dow right now just has to regroup. It's going to be tough to make up 32 points in a quarter, but they just have to regroup and get, get set as to what they're doing. Richard runs into his own man. There's a flag, another flag on the play. I think that is probably going to be a hold. 36. 22 on the carry for the Chargers, Caleb Richard. Or it might be a face mask, actually. Looks like it's going to be marked off against Midland. Yeah, it is a face mask penalty, face the five-yard variety. That'll be a first down for Dow. Positive play on first down, falls out to the 35-yard line. Field. Great guard checking with Miller on the play. Miller spins. It's Rob on the reception. But then he's met immediately. That was a great coverage by Belson and Wilson. The play looked like it had uh, potential. A little seam there, but Middle High closed it up quickly. Two yard gain on the reception for Rob. Eleven minutes to go in the ball game. Five wideouts for Dow. Miller back to pass. He's under pressure. Fires downfield, overthrown. He's looking for Rob again. And he had a little room to run there. He did have room to run. He's he's uh, just a little off on his passing tonight. And that little bit of off with the, you know, I think the, the idea that Millen has in here of dropping as many defenders is kind of upsetting. They're in the, they're in the way of a lot of Dow's receptions. But again, you need, Travis McNally has not caught a pass to me. And he's their number one receiver. Miller seems to be throwing on the move a lot. He's not able to get set very often. Back to pass goes Miller. Pump fakes. Shoots down the middle. Almost picked off. That time he was trying for it. Nally overthrew him. And uh, nearly picked off by Matt McInerney for Midland. Fourth and eight. Now pretty much has to go for it here, don't you think? Absolutely. It's just not enough time. And this is not where the game possessions and, to be had. Right, and this is where the game really gets run away from. If you don't make the first down, you're pretty well saying, okay, you're going to get a touchdown. But in reality, it doesn't matter. You know, you've got to get your first down. You've got to keep the drive alive. So here we go. Senior quarterback Graham Miller trying to make something happen here. Hayes in motion. Another back to pass. Fires. He's got his man. Oh, that's a first down. Nice play. Travis McNally on the reception. He, he curled in right at the stick, caught it, and then made sure he fell ahead to ensure the first down. I want to tell you how good that was on Midland's defense. That was a flea flicker. They were going to uh, hook and ladder. They were going to catch the ball, but uh, McNally got wrapped up so fast. And the defend the uh, halfback swinging out of the backfield was covered, so it was a terrific job of defense. Even though they gave up the first down, and McNally's first catch. Miller, pump fakes. He's got Rob. 
And he's going to pick up about four. He's brought down by Jordan Wilson. Jordan Wilson's having an outstanding game. He's had a great game, both offensively and defensively. Both sides of the ball. He's a pleasant surprise on offense running the yeah, football, wasn't he? Definitely. Ten minutes to go in the half. Dow's in his quad set, and really Midland is just covering the quads the way you're supposed to. Miller is going to keep it, and it's just no place to run. Try to find a seam, it just wasn't happening. Well, there's no place to run if you don't block Alexander. I mean, there's no place to run. You gotta block Alexander. If you if you say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, somebody's gotta get out and get on him. Coltson as well on the stop for Midland. Third and long. Call it six for Dow. Cook in motion. Big hand up to him. Fires downfield and broken up. Good defensive play by Luke DeLong. Pass intended for McNally. And DeLong just got up in the air and swatted it down to make sure that Dow will have to face another fourth down. Well, Dow's passes are taking so long to develop that the defenders are able to recover. And, and Miller's locking onto that one receiver. You know, it's in, he hasn't done that all year. He's looked, he's thrown back, and made some pretty good plays. Tonight, he's locked on to one receiver. Dow's flow, or Midland's flowing to the ball. Midland's doing an excellent job of defense. Fourth and six. Cook in motion again. Fires downfield. Oh, broken up. That was uh, Wilson intended for Rob. He hit him right between the eight and the five, and there was Wilson to meet him immediately, and the ball pops loose. Midland will take over. We have said that name a lot tonight, Jordan Wilson. So nine minutes to go in the game. 38-6, Midland on top. This is Midland's 10th possession. They've scored on six of them so far. This is their 10th. They scored on six of nine possessions. It's a pretty good percentage. You're going to win a lot of games. You're going to win all of your games. You're going to win all of your games. Unless you play Mount Pleasant and scores 50. <laughs> we scored seven you, out of you, seven. You gotta get, yeah, you got to get some serious possessions there. Here's Williams. Big yardage around the right side again. Following the block at DeLong. Knocked down by Hayes and Cantardi. Uh, it was a nice run. He made a little inside move and then broke it to the outside and was able to uh, make almost the first down. It's about inches? It must be inches. I can tell it's short. Very, very close. But the clock. Midland is happy grinding down. this game out. Eight and a half minutes to go. Williams, oh, he's stuffed. Big play by the Chargers, led by Chase Quencer. And he's going to be short of the first down. It'll be third and one still. They may just add a play to the drive, but we'll see. The Chargers uh, going to have to hold here again. Good job by that defensive front. Ryan Shannon, 61 in there. And, uh, Miles Hooper, 79. Trying to get the stop here. They're gonna have to face this power set for Midland. Williams to carry, first down and more. There he goes. Another big hole, he follows this time on the left side, he follows the blockers, Wilson and Alexander, and I don't think he was touched. Untouched. Will Williams when he explodes broke, for another touchdown. This, this is a beautiful job of blocking up front. Look at Alexander, clean house. Wow. That, that's why he's untouched. Yep. Alexander did all the dirty work. <laughs> So Will Williams with another touchdown with seven and a half the minutes to go.
Wandor to attempt the extra point. And he booms yet another one. Midland now 45 to six, and I did not think we'd be saying this, but running we're have clock. running clock. And that is the shocker of shocks because there have not been many running clocks in this in his rivalry. There have been a few, but not many, and nobody expected a running clock tonight. That is for sure. And uh yes, Charger Faithful stunned by the developments of this game for sure and uh what do you say midland had just played a great game in all three phases really well midland has scored a touchdown on every possession this half that they've had dallas had the one touchdown on their first possession and have done absolutely nothing since that point point. and again a lot of that has to do with midland's defense being exceptional i think that midland's defense has just been out of this world and their secondary play has allowed the rush to get to Miller. And in all honesty, Miller has flushed maybe a little too fast sometimes and uh, and has given Midland lots of opportunities. So uh, Wandor will kick off again. Ella Brock will receive it at the three. Comes down and there's Luke White yet again, as well as a uh, tackle being made Check by Matt Nastasi. So uh, Wandor, a tremendous game. He's made all his extra points, made a field goal, and his kickoffs have been very effective. Dow will take over at the 21-yard line. Quarterback Richard takes the handoff, drive ahead for about four yards. Now, in this last seven minutes, I'm going to tell you if I'm down and I'm down 46 6, I'm regrouping. I got to get, I got to realize, okay, this game's over. I can't win this game. That I've got to get ready for next week. Right. And so I've got to calm my team down. I've got to regroup, get back into what we do well, and be ready for next week. Miller's going to keep it. Big yardage. Finally run out of bounds by Wilson. Got a nice pickup. And he is able to stop the clock out to the 40 yard line. Brandon Delaney, number 66, now in a defensive line for Midland. Cook goes in motion. Miller back pass, he's got time. He's going deep and overthrows Mike Robb. Russell on the coverage. Bring up second and 10. Brings up second down and 10 for the Chargers on their 40-yard line. Ozar will check out for Midland. Vaughn Roten will come in, number 23, for the Chemex. Good opportunity here in this game to get a lot of your seniors into the ball game, give them an opportunity to play, get the players that, you know, practice hard during the week, give you a good look. A lot of time for Miller. Fires, got his man. Caught by Rob. That's been his favorite target here tonight. He's be short of the first. Belson in on the stop. It'll be third and three. With under five minutes to go in the game. Ryan Millars now in the secondary for Midland. 
Fires got Cook. First down, Cook still on his feet, drives ahead. Finally hauled down by Millars, but uh, nice pass, good catch by the sophomore, Justin Cook. Down to the 42 yard line, first down in Dow High. Minutes to go. Kind of fake handoff. A little nifty play by Miller. It's going to result in a two yard gain. Ben Miller on the quarterback keeper for Kind of fake the handoff. Tucked it behind 66. his back for deception that took off. Brings up second down and eight. For the I'm really surprised Dow hasn't given Alec Marty a little bit of an opportunity to play here. In his second half, uh, losing Miller is crucial. If anything should happen here, losing Richard is crucial. I mean, you got to you got to start looking next week. You just got to say, okay, I got I got to take care of my boys at this point. Miller fires, got his man. Another first down. Good run by Mason Hayes. Now picks up the first down. In on the stop. But also, maybe you uh, see if you can get uh, get Miller back in some rhythm, like you mentioned, for here's the game next week. Kind of get things clicking again. Well, at this point, next week we're going to be right here again. Uh, Midland's going to play probably Marquette uh, at this point in the playoff look. And I'm going to suspect that Dow's going to go to Carmen Ainsworth. Miller, great job uh, buying time, going to his right, and finding Miller, Rob for a uh, completion. Not that long by number 20. Picks up about Jared six. Lachance Jared Lachance on the stop for Midland. Brings up second down and four. For the second and four for Dow. Just line. over two minutes to go here in the contest. Dow trying to end here on a high note. Talking things over with Hayes and Richard as to what the play is. Richard in motion to the left. Miller fires over the middle, overthrows Cook. Ball lands right in front of Jordan Wilson. Brings up third down the for the Chargers. On the third and four. Clock runs. So, Will Williams on the sideline there. Williams with beautiful night, a huh? For fantastic running. Just evening. Beautiful running. Great. Hard, quick, elusive. I, I can't think of any more adjectives. It's, other than good. Then good. Good Richard. run by Caleb Richard. See, yeah. see, I like Caleb Richard running there. I mean, that's to me, that's, there was so, so much lateral movement against the 3 8 that, you know, they were able to flow to it. You got to make commitment to block the middle linebacker and you got to run right at him. It's the only way you beat middle. It's first down for Richard. It's 15. The clock is running. 40 seconds to go. Now trying to tack on some points here in the closing seconds. Miller, he's gonna run with it, hauled down. Good defensive play. That was uh, Delaney on the tackle. Now High's gonna call timeout in second and eight. Now you can tell it's trying to end on a high note here. But the regular season will end. Midland is going to claim the city title. We'll finish season at eight and one. Their 38th consecutive winning season. Incredible record by the Chemic program. That will end. The regular season at seven and two, both uh, teams having uh, tremendous seasons, and both teams.
heading to the playoffs next week. So Miller waiting for the ready signal. There it is. Back to pass. Fires for the end zone. Up, incomplete. He's looking for Travis McNally. He just overthrew him. Coverage by DeLong. With uh, the clock runs down game. with 10 seconds to go. That was going to try to get one more playoff, but they're going to have to hurry. They do get the snap off. Miller running hard. And on the last play, he gets sacked. That is... Brandon Delaney will end the game on a sack, and the Midland Comics will claim victory 45 to six in, is really a stunner. That uh, game coming in, we everybody had figured as a toss up really coach, and uh, Midland just played a great game. Well, Midland played their game, 45 points, and that's was to be expected. Six points from Dow, not even close to being, but was expected. Uh, Midland scored on every possession in the second half, which was spectacular in that three is. out of five possessions in the first half. So when you take a look at that, you say to yourself, all right, that is one efficient offensive play. But again, don't take anything away from the Midland defense. No. They swarmed the whole night and really controlled the line of scrimmage and stopped Dow in everything that they tried. The thing that's impressive to me is how dominant Midland was in this game and how flat Dow was. And and I don't have an answer for that. Uh, as a coach, you say, okay, you, you, know, you, you agonize over this, uh, this game for a long time. Mm -hmm. But now, in, in retrospect, let's look, in, I, I should say, let's look into the future a little bit. You're going to see both teams in the playoffs, and in two weeks, we could very well see these two teams play each other again right right here it could be that so i mean that's a, that's a distinct possibility and we may see a different dow high team that would like nothing better than to uh than to see that happen in fact in uh to get another uh, uh get another crack at their arch rivals no question about it well it was a great game tonight for midland uh, not so good a game for Dow, but uh, the, the best part about it is they get to play next week. Absolutely. That's Both teams part. get to play next week. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at some of these second half highlights here in just a moment. Um, a lot of big plays in this half. Watch the blocking of Alexander. Move, Alexander just moves the pow. What a player he is. And here's uh, this is a good pass breakup. Play. That was uh, by Russell. Right. He had a very solid game in secondary for Midland, including an interception. This is the touchdown. Oh, that ball was put on put the money right by Miller. And, a... and Hayes took it the distance. And so that was Dow's lone score of the night. And the very next play. Here goes Williams. Williams explodes. And he just blows away. Gotta good, love it. Good effort by Dow to catch him, but just too much speed by Williams. And here's Miller rolling to pass. And this is going to be an interception here. No, nope, oh, this uh, great was catch Rob. by Rob. Yes, it was a big play for yes, Dow to move the chains. But and this then, is the this is I think is an incredible. Pass and catch. Great catch right into the back of the end zone. First play of the fourth Great quarter. Great call. Great call. And this is Williams again breaking loose. Untouched for pay dirt. Dow's, off, Dow's defense was on the field a long time yep. tonight and got beat up. And controlling both sides of the line of scrimmage. And when that happens, you're usually victorious. And so as the, uh, the Midland team and all their fans and their faithful celebrate on the field, we will uh, look ahead to next week. We'll uh, see what the playoff picture 
how that unfolds, but uh, we're pretty certain that Midland High will be back here at the community stadium to open things up for the playoffs. And so folks, this is Dave Marsh, along with Frank Aldemore signing off. Final score, Midland with, winning the city title 45 to six. And we will see you next time. Good night, everybody. <laughs>